Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Jason. I'm the South Amqua campus pastor. And whether you're in our online campus or in a home church in South Amqua, I'm just grateful that you're here to be a part of this journey with us as we go through the book of Colossians. And today, we really want to leave you with a challenge uh, to preach the gospel to yourself every day this week. And I would really add to that Every day we need to preach the gospel to ourselves multiple times because one of the biggest enemies to living out the gospel in our life is forgetfulness. We forget that Jesus really lived the perfect life that I can't live, that he really died in my place as the atoning sacrifice for my sins and that he really rose again. And that in these truths, I can find freedom. I can find power over sin and I can truly live out this identity that is my inheritance in the gospel. Um, So that's our challenge for you today. And we we also wanted to just take a moment. If you have ever been to one of our physical campuses before, sometimes we do what is called a family moment. Um, As we're doing life together, difficult things can arise to the surface. And we want to take a moment to just address those things. So we're going to have a little family moment here. It is no secret that over the last several months, even over the last year, that there has been lots of division in our culture, in America, and unfortunately, even within the church. Uh, That that is a reality that we are living in. And um, I wanted to share just some of Jesus' words and his heart for us. In John 17, it's called the High Priestly Prayer. And Towards the end of his prayer, he actually prays for you and I. And here's what he says. As he's praying to his father, he says, I do not ask only for these, those people who are with him, but also for those who will believe in me through their words. The people who will believe as a result of their testimony. That's us. And that they may all be one just as you, Father, are in me and I in you. You know what he prays for? He prays for unity. He says, just as the Son and the Father are unified, I want my people, I want the church to be unified. And he says, he goes on, that they also may be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. You know what he's saying? What unites us is so much greater than what divides us. And when there's division in the church, it is easy to forget the mission of God. But he equates this unity with letting the world know that a Savior came in Jesus. So I want to remind us and I want to call us back to unity. We don't, we don't have to all agree. Unity is not unanimity. It's not that everybody agrees on the exact same thing. But unity says, at the foundation of my life, Jesus is the core. And because of that, we are reconciled. We can come together as brothers and sisters in Christ who may have different perspectives, but we are on mission and a mission that is greater than any political agenda or greater than any, than any, any uh, tradition of man. This is, this is the mission of God. That's what I want to call us back to today. So I want to challenge you in addition to the, the sermon this week. Uh, where do you need unity? What, 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 what people do you need to begin seeing through the eyes of Christ as image bearers, as, as people who Christ indwells, as people who God loves, and even if they don't agree with you? I want to pray for us. Lord Jesus, I, I just, I echo your prayer, God. Uh, I, I I couldn't have said anything better. That, that this unity that you call for for your church, it's to be reflect a reflection of the unity that is in the Godhead. And I pray, God, that that would be a reality at Family Church, that that would be a reality at the churches in Douglas County, that would be a reality at the churches in America, and that that would be the reality in the churches across the globe, that we wouldn't get distracted from the mission because of division over whatever issue, but we would remember the mission of God still goes forth. The gospel still goes forth, even amidst this uncertain times, God. I pray for unity in our church. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope to see you next week.